I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Today, you're going to learn how to fix the angle arming status prevention flag. If you're trying to arm your quadcopter, and instead of arming, it just says angle in the on-screen display, I know how to fix it, and soon so will you. Before we get into this video, let me just tell you, this is one in a whole playlist of videos about the Betaflight Arming Prevention Status flags. And you're focused on the angle flag, that's why you're here, but I suggest you go back and check the very first video in the playlist. The playlist is linked down in the video description. The very first video in the playlist talks, just gives some background on the arming status prevention flags, and it's information that I think you're going to wish you knew. In fact, some of you are not going to go watch the video, and then you're going to ask me a question in the comments that is answered in that first video, and I'll be polite and answer it anyway, but I'll wish you had went and watched the freaking video. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> what is the angle flag? What does that even mean? Here's the deal. The Betaflight devs know that it would be a real disaster if your quadcopter were to arm itself when you were, like, carrying it around. And so they've built in what they call small angle protection. Actually, I say the beta flight devs did that, but small angle protection has been in beta flight back through clean flight, back through base flight, probably even multi we had it. So it goes back a really long ways. And the way the small angle protection works is if the quad is not level, the quad will refuse to arm. The idea being that when you're taking off from the ground, the quad is level, and when you're carrying the quadcopter around, oh, I'm a big dope who doesn't unplug his quadcopter when he picks it up. Huh, I wonder if my... <laughs> then, so the quadcopter will refuse to arm. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. Number one, sometimes your quad isn't level when you're taking it off, especially these little mini quads. So if you're trying to take off and you're like on a little bit of a hill, and by the way, it doesn't take much. The default small angle limit is 25 degrees. It, the quad doesn't have to be very much off level for you just to re refuse to arm. And the other thing is that sometimes the accelerometer, which is the device the quad uses to tell when it's level, sometimes the accelerometer is out of calibration. And so even when the quad is perfectly flat on the ground, it'll refuse to arm. There's a third scenario where this comes into play that I'm going to talk about a little later in the video when your quad gets stuck in a tree. But let's take a look in Betaflight at what we can do to fix this situation. And the first thing we can do to fix this situation is to make sure that the accelerometer is properly calibrated. So I'm here in the setup tab and you'll have to take my word for it because I only have one camera at the moment, but the quadcopter is sitting flat on my desk. It is flat as a stone on my desk. And you can see here that the 3D model is not flat. The 3D model says we are rolled 20 degrees to the side and pitched 45 degrees to the side. And that is absolutely not true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the uh, quadcopter flat on my desk and I'm just going to hit calibrate accelerometer. And that will make sure that my quadcopter knows what level really is. But what I like to do is go to the configuration tab and I like to change the maximum arming angle to, as you can see, I've got it here, to 180 degrees. And that actually completely disables the small angle protection. Now that's a risky move. Anytime you disable a protection, you're taking an additional risk. And so if you choose to do that, you need to be aware that you need to be really careful not to well, accidentally flip your arming switch while you're carrying your quadcopter around. Nobody thinks they're gonna do it but a lot of people have done it. Your transmitter's dangling around your neck or you kind of got it tucked in the crook of your arm and you reach down to pick up your quad and bleh, the switch gets flipped. What I recommend, I don't have my transmitter around, but <laughs> what I recommend people do is if you disarm, then just slightly raise the throttle and the quadcopter will refuse to arm when the throttle is raised. So then that acts kind of as an extra safety. It's easy to do. You don't have to set up any fancy logical switches, open TX, pre-arm mode, none of that. Just every time you disarm your quad, slightly raise the throttle, and that's your backup safety to prevent you from accidentally arming. And then before you go to fly, lower the throttle, flip the arm switch, and get out of there. Now, you can also just leave the the small angle on and you could set that to something maybe a little more generous than the default of 25 degrees maybe you set it to 45 degrees but i just disable it by setting it to a value of 180. 
Now, there's another reason why you might end up dealing with this in the field, and that is the scenario where your quadcopter is not right side up and you can't get at it to fix it, like if you crash in a tree. So your quadcopter is hanging from a tree. Obviously, it's not flat and level. And what you'd like to do is arm the quad and shake the props and just shake it and make it fall out of the tree, but it won't arm because you didn't disable small angle and now you've got a problem. Well, it turns out there is a workaround for that because Betaflight has what's called stick commands. And actually these also go all the way back, I think all the way back to MultiWii years ago. And the stick commands let you tell the flight controller to do certain things by putting the sticks in certain positions. And one of the stick commands is to calibrate the accelerometer. And in order to do that, what you're going to do, is, this is for mode two, by the way, you're going to push the left stick up and to the left and the right stick down. And when you do that, Betaflight will calibrate the accelerometer to believe that whatever position the quad is in, in other words, hanging from a tree, is level. And that'll let you arm the quad again and, and hopefully shake it out of the tree. By the way, if you get stuck in trees regularly, you definitely want to set up turtle mode as well. Because turtle mode lets you spin, you think of turtle mode as being used to flip the quad over from being upside down on the ground, but it's actually super useful for shaking the quad out of a tree because it lets the props spin backwards from the way they normally spin. And sometimes that's what you need to do to get the quad out of the tree. If you calibrate your accelerometer like this to get you out of a tree, when you're ready to go fly again, don't forget to recalibrate the accelerometer with the quad flat and level. Otherwise it'll refuse to arm and then you won't know why. Now, there's one more thing to tell you about the arming flag, and most of you are not going to run into this issue. But if you do run into it, it is super confusing, and that's why I want to make sure I tell you about it. Some Betaflight flight controllers suffer from what's called accelerometer drift. And what that means is that at the moment that you power up, the accelerometer knows which way is flat and level. And then as you fly, it slowly drifts. And the reason for this is not actually entirely clear to me at least and sadly the fix for it is also i if it's happening i don't know what to do other than to just get a new flight controller but the way it manifests is that it, if you're fly, most people don't notice it most people don't notice it because they're flying it in acro mode and in acro mode the accelerometer is not really used for anything so the fact that it's drifting doesn't matter the people who really notice this the most are micro quad pilots like tiny whoop pilots because they are more likely to be flying in auto level mode and what they notice is that as they start the pack and the quad is flying fine and then as they're flying the quad is slowly drifting to the left and they're having to put more and more right roll in and auto level is not auto leveling anymore and what the heck and then they unplug the battery plug a new battery and suddenly everything is right again that's the accelerometer drift the way this interacts with the angle flag is if you have not disabled small angle protection then when if you plug the battery in and set the quad down and then don't take off immediately after a little while the accelerometer drifts to the point where the quad thinks it's not level anymore and it'll refuse to arm i ran into this with one flight controller and it was so confusing because if i plugged in and took off and flew everything was fine but then if i plugged in and walked away for a minute and a half and then tried to fly wouldn't fly and at the time the Betaflight OSD didn't have the warning element, so I couldn't see the, the, the angle indicator on screen to tell me what was going on. I just had to guess. And if that's happening to you, if you get angle after the quad sits around for a while, but not if you take off when you first start, when you first plug in, I don't know what the fix is. A new flight controller or disable small angle protection and don't fly in auto level mode. I wish I had a better answer for you. That is going to do it. That is everything I think I can think of to tell you about the angle flag. Hope you found it super educational. If this series is helping you solve problems, I do want to remind you this is my full-time job, answering questions, making videos like this. And if it's valuable to you, I invite you to uh, join my Patreon, which is a way you can give me a couple bucks a month. I use it to pay my rent, buy food, etc. All the things that your job does for you, my Patreon does for me. So uh, consider supporting that if these videos are helpful, help you save time, solve problems, or make a good buying decision. There's other ways you can support me linked down in the video description. If uh, you're not interested in Patreon, hey, I got you know, many different options for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.